As some of you may have heard, there was a decision that came out today by a grand jury not to indict uh, police officers who had uh, interacted with an individual named Eric Garner in New York City, uh, all of which was caught on videotape uh, and speaks to the larger issues that we've been talking about now for the last week, the last month, the last year, and sadly, for decades. Uh, and that is uh, the concern on the part of too many minority communities that uh, law enforcement is not working with them and dealing with them uh, in a fair way. And uh, there is going to be, uh, I'm sure, additional statements by law enforcement. My tradition is not to remark on cases where there may still be an investigation. But I want everybody to understand that this week, in the wake of Ferguson, we initiated a task force whose job it is to come back to me with specific recommendations about how we strengthen the relationship between law enforcement and communities of color and minority communities that feel that uh, bias is taking place that we are going to take specific steps to improve the training and the work with state and local governments when it comes to policing in communities of color, uh, that we are going to be scrupulous in investigating cases where we are concerned about the impartiality and accountability that's taking place. Uh, and as I said, when I met with uh, folks both from Ferguson and law enforcement and clergy and uh, civil rights activists. Uh, I said, this is an issue that we've been dealing with for too long, and it's time for us to make more progress than we've made. And I'm not interested in talk. I'm interested in action. And I am absolutely committed as President of the United States uh, to making sure that we have a country in which everybody believes in the core principle that we are equal under the law. So, so I've, uh, I just got off the phone with my uh, Attorney General Eric Holder. He will have more specific comments about the case in New York. Uh, but I want everybody to know here, as well as uh, everybody who may be viewing uh, my remarks here today, we are not going to let up until we see a strengthening of the trust and a strengthening of the accountability that exists between our communities and our law enforcement. And I say that as somebody who believes that law enforcement has an incredibly difficult job, that every man or woman in uniform are putting their lives at risk to protect us, that they have the right to come home just like we do from our jobs, that there's real crime out there that they've got to tackle day in, day out, but that they're only going to be able to do their job effectively if everybody has confidence in the system. And right now, unfortunately, we are seeing too many instances where people just do not have confidence that folks are being treated fairly. And in some cases, those may, may be misperceptions, but in some cases, that's a reality. Uh, and it is incumbent about all of us as Americans, regardless of race, region, faith, that we recognize this is an American problem and not just a black problem or a brown problem or a Native American problem. This is an American problem. When anybody in this country is not being treated equally under the law, that's a problem. And it's my job as president to help solve it. <laughs> 